Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. I'm here back at Universal Studios Hollywood to check up on the roller coaster, up into Super Nintendo World, and more. So let's get right to it. Starting here at Fast and Furious. No, no, no new track pieces or support pieces, but lots and lots of rebar and um, other supports going up. Like there's one right there, that big column, other column, sorry, going up. And I think there's a team meeting right there going on. But again, tons and tons of rebar in this particular station area where what will be the station and then uh, final break run. And here's even a support or a column for support coming in right here. So that is quite nice. See all the way to Springfield on this very busy day. Spring break, it'll be probably busy for a while because spring break is happening across various schools, across various different states, all the way to basically the summertime. Look at this, so we have a big crane taking this big steel, um, piece of steel here and he's going to drill it into this particular area. They're putting it in this hole right here. Just zoom in and watch that for a second. Look at him go, yeah. So watch the construction process. They're going to put this all the way down that massive hole right there. This might be forming the retaining wall. Not sure yet. Oh, there they are. They're, they're putting it down. Look at them. Very slowly. Putting, there's four guys, but the, I mean, that weighs literally tons. They're drilling it down. That's pretty cool. Right into the ground right there. That's real. That's super cool. People going up the star way. But yeah, look at that. There it comes and go. All the way down. It's another guy coming in. The assistance of the crane there, and there it goes. Another steel beam with this potential retaining wall going to the ground. I'm going to seal it in there. Make sure it's in tight before they release it from the cable of the crane. Cool. Yeah, holding it tight. Uh, unleashing it. Super cool to see this whole process work. Oh, this guy's calling for something. I think I need the correct tool. Unleash this. Other aspects of the site. You got uh, more uh, rebar for some supports. Zombie support. Oh, this, these might be steel beams. I'm not sure because they kind of they're matching that, but they also could be support structures lining over here. There are columns for supports. Now it's more cables. And rebar sitting, they're gonna be twisting all that rebar into more sports style structures. Working hard here. Can't wait to see some more pieces of track and supports as well. Should be getting it soon because look at all these, they're gonna pour concrete and all these guys and put up those support structures. So it should be pretty nice. Moulin Rouge is still under scaffold or under construction, but this place is rumored to reopen middle April, middle of April, so maybe the next couple of weeks, and to be open to everyone, not just VIP guests. So we'll have to see about that. We'll definitely have to try it if it is open to everybody. But yeah, this these walls should be down by the middle of the month. That is the rumor, at least. Let's go check up on Halloween Horror Night stuff and the Harry Potter locker construction. Rockwork continues to be formed on the locker building. Which again, hopefully be done by the summertime. Yeah, I can see the different shapes of rockwork starting to be formed over there. The mesh, and when that's done, that'll be the final touch, and this thing should be open shortly after that is up. Here's the back side of the locker building again. More of that mesh and rockwork starting to be formed, and then this will be themed, ready to go in the next few weeks.
the studio tour is celebrating its 60th anniversary this July. You can go ahead and check out the video I did on that for the full reveal of the 60th anniversary stuff starting April 26th. I'll link that in the top right corner. Part of the 60th anniversary is the revamped earthquake and that is rumored to soft open this week. I was thinking of taking the studio tour today but the line's too long and I really don't want to sit there for an hour hoping that earthquake will be soft open. I wanted a confirmation first. It didn't didn't get quite get that so I'm not going to take the tour today but Earthquake in the next couple weeks should be soft opening. Starting April 18th is the past member preview for the Studio Tour 60th anniversary full offerings. I have mine April 18th at 5.30 p.m. So I'll be doing full POV of that. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe for a full POV of the Studio Tour 60th anniversary offerings all right here on the channel. Yeah, look at those busy spring break crowds there with the Long lines, uh, Mario Kart 110, that's the longest one now. It's relatively cold outside, but Jurassic World still has a 55 minute wait. Checking in on the progress of the Fast Furious over here. Again, multiple massive supports, these supports will be holding an inversion as well as that the glass structure that will be uh, the scream shield will be over here to hide these screams to orient the screams that way for all the coaster riders. So these are massive. They just poured the concrete on these four. I expect them to do these three in the next day or two. Then we'll see the actual support themselves for the big, uh, the massive structures and big track pieces they'll be coming in this particular spot. Very exciting stuff here. It is getting windier, so I'm sorry if that wind is going in this video. That audio is being potentially messed up. But here are the support structures again and more rebar ready to be installed for future support structures on this entire path of the hillside for the roller coaster. Halloween Horn Nights construction is officially starting to the layout. This is the front of the house and the layout going through there um, to the house has started and then we'll see the walls go vertical in the next few weeks as they uh, get prepped and, uh, prepped and ready. You can see the Halloween Horn Nights construction over here it's starting here at the sound wall. That massive black thing is the sound wall to keep the sound away from the studios and the CO tour itself. No uh, tent or lines here yet, but uh, there'll be a, a house right over there coming up soon. Here at Super Nintendo World, the upstairs is completely closed off as they finish work on the rumored new interactive feature up there. Maybe not a mini game, but there's some kind of interactive feature that's going on, going on in the um, ice area, but also just refurbing all the blocks and stuff up there, including those binoculars. I'm sure they'll do some refurbishment on those. So until then, the entire upper level of Super Nintendo World is completely closed. And yes, it's very busy in here. But not as busy as it could be. So that's good, you can still see the floor. All right, and that is going to do it for this update. Universal Studios Hollywood, Super Nintendo World, Fast and Furious, uh, lock, Harry Potter lockers, and much more. If you liked this video, press that thumbs up, subscribe for more theme park updates, and if you want to contribute to the channel, click that join button, become a YouTube member for early access to videos like these, exclusive uh, behind the scenes stuff and permits, as well as patreon.com slash club722 to support the channel on Patreon. Other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day.